hello viewers you're welcome once again to this channel in today's tutorial we are going to solve these nested radicals which most people dread just make sure you stay relaxed and watch to the very end you will find it interesting this is a nested radical that continues indefinitely so the first thing we're going to do is to make a representation by saying let x be the nested radical 6 plus the square root of 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 6 that continues indefinitely after the representation we are going to need to square both sides When we square both sides, on the left hand side we're going to have x squared. Then on the right hand side, the square is going to take out only the outermost square root. The outermost square root symbol will be taken out. So that we have 6 plus the next in the line, the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 and it continues indefinitely still then we have x squared equals to 6 plus recall that the whole of this was given the representation x right from the beginning therefore we write it as x reducing everything to a quadratic equation isn't that interesting if you find it interesting give the video a like as we continue rearranging we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0 then we factor the resulting quadratic equation where the factors of negative 6 that we add up to negative 1 are positive 2 and negative 3 the quadratic equation does factor as x plus 2 times x minus 3 equals to 0. And by the zero product property, either x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 3 is 0, meaning that x could be negative 2 or x could be 3. However, if x is negative 2, we are going to have an imaginary solution. It is not real. So for real solution to the next third radical, x equals to 3. Therefore, the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 the nested radical that continues indefinitely with sum approximate to 3 stay tuned and make sure you don't go now as there is still more in the box for you the second one is product nested radical in product we're going to follow a similar approach in getting this one also solved so we start by making this representation as before then we square both sides so that on the left hand side we have k squared as square as usual we only affect we only affect the outermost square root which means we are going to have six times the nested radical again square root of six times square root of six times square root of six times square root of six which which also continues indefinitely. Then this can be written as k squared equals to 6k as the nested radical that we have on the right hand side has been represented by k. Rearranging again, we have k squared minus 6k equals to 0. Factoring, we have k times k minus 6 in bracket equals to 0. By the zero product property, once more, 
we have k is either 0 or k minus 6 is 0. So k is 0 or k is 6. Once again, the first solution is not valid. If the nested radical is zero, then it does not exist in the first place. So the only real solution is k equals to six. Therefore, the product in the nested radical, six times square root of six times the square root of six times the square root of six that continues indefinitely will approximate or have its limit to be six. Did you find this video interesting? Give us a thumbs up by liking the video. Share your thoughts and your comments with us in the comment box. They keep us going. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so. And hit the notification bell so that you get more updates from us. We wish to see more of you. Thank you and bye.